Welcome everybody! Today on this gameplay showcase we are taking a look at Hyper Dimension Neptunia Victory, the latest nutso RPG from Nippon Ichi. And uh, yeah, this was an interesting game. It, um, the battle system was cool, the gameplay was extremely repetitive, it didn't have a lot of depth, but the story was kind of funny I thought, and the art was cool. And uh, I really like the voice actress who played Neptune, the lead character. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of how this game works. Uh, it, there, I probably won't show as much as I have in past videos just because there's not a lot to show. Like Once you've seen it, you've kind of seen it all. So this is sort of your main hub once you kind of get into the beginning of the game. This is what the game is considering a town. It's all menu based. Like you can... Um, you can just, you know, go to different places and check stuff, like there's an item shop, and uh, you can buy items, interesting, any other item shop, Basilicon, this is like your base, where you go and you, um, oh, no, that's not, that's not where I wanted to go, you have a guild, that's where you get quests, you basically just have quests and um, you can grab them and go do them and it gets you experience and rewards and stuff and that's basically how the game works. You do quests, you report back and then that will usually trigger a cutscene or maybe you'll have to do a couple before it triggers a cutscene. And then there's also some minor item crafting and uh, you can collect items in the field and you can, you know, learn crafts and you can build things. This is an an older save, but um, what I think is kind of neat in the towns, uh, they all try to represent game characters from the system that they're trying to represent. Um, this one doesn't have as many because it's it's earlier on, but like this person's supposed to be Famitsu, which is a famous Japanese gaming magazine. Obviously this guy, Tamakichi Sakuro, I'm so hungry. He's supposed to be Mr. Onion from Parappa the Rappa. Mm -hmm if you've ever played that game. And there's not a whole lot, this might be Bubsy, Neki, Metsu and I published a game magazine. I don't really know if that's supposed to be somebody, maybe Tails from Sonic or something like that. Uh, anyway, let's leave town. And uh, I'll show you um, different areas in the game. So there's, this is like the beginner level. And uh, let's, we've got a new event. So let's check this event out. So the, this is how the dialogue plays out, much like in Mugen Souls, it's, you know, character portraits on the screen, just like in Shinkara, like when I'm doing the beginning and the uh, end of the videos. Uh, right now it's not voiced, unfortunately. I wish it was, because I want you to hear the voices. So Neptune, the girl that plays this, it's a really good job. She reminds me, um, as I said in the review, of the girl that plays Tenma Skamato in the School Rumble anime. Like, the character, she could be kind of boring and bland, but she delivers the lines really well, and... I don't know, I really in ended up liking the character. And the girl that voices Noir is the same girl that voices Chie in Persona 4 Golden, Persona 4 Arena, and the anime Persona 4. So, again, you're going to see her a lot, especially at the beginning of the game. So those two really made it for me because I loved Chie. She was the girl that I picked while I played through Persona 4 Golden. And uh, Plutia is kind of like an airhead character. Uh, but let's, uh, let's see if we can't skip this. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a tutorial. It teaches you, ooh, different status effects and stuff. Yeah. We don't need that. But see, this is the game world. You do quests, and there's just these hubs that so you can farm. You farm animals, and you can jump. Boing! I'm a kangaroo! I don't know if you guys can hear that. But yeah, she says some, some silly stuff. But here, everybody's like an old video game. Obviously, that guy's supposed to be a ghost from Pac-Man. See, so yeah, I just gathered some herbs. So let's fight. Let's get into a fight here. Do, uh, much like Persona 4, you attack them, you can get the upper hand. And if they attack you, then they get the other upper hand. So she has a big attack box. Some of the characters will not have one quite this large. So she has one. So attack. So now you've got three choices. Break edge, if you can see on the top, screen there's GP which is sort of like her guard points if you eliminate that you'll do more damage um, power edge 
basically is just a strong attack, doesn't really do anything one way or another. I'll do a break edge, you can see it definitely took more of her, uh, this Goza GP away. I'll just do it again. Uh, and so, I'll do an attack, I'm probably gonna kill it. Okay, so Rush, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but what it does is it's a very high percentage to hit. So if the, the person you're fighting tends to dodge a lot, or if you only have a little bit of damage you want to do to them at the very end, then make sure you do that so you can hit them. So I'm just going to finish him off. And you can see her hitbox is a lot smaller, but her strength is uh, healing. So nobody needs to get healed, but you can see the big range that she has should you need to heal. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to end up defending since I can't really do anything. Uh, and what's cool, again, you can see on the top right, it tells you the order that who's going to fight in. So you can sort of plan ahead, which is nice. Uh, I'm gonna just do some breakers, and now that there's no guard, guard's broken, let's just do some power edge. And we did it! Victory! Alright, and then you have limited vul and vulnerability, I believe, right after a battle. That's what that little green shield was. So let's take a walk around, because there are definitely other areas you can explore. Ooh, a messy cloth probably for crafting items so pretty much everything we just you saw that's pretty much the whole area like that's you can see the map like that's it they're very small areas they're not too big they're not um, they're kind of I guess you could almost call this a dungeon crawler in a way but the dungeons are so small that I don't know if that's even an appropriate term for it but let's keep killing things I'll show you one thing that I didn't like about this system. So, do fight another battle. Why'd you get careless? Uh, break, break, power edge. All right, broker Gar, this guy is gonna die. See you later. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> There we go, so now she can hit both of them, which is cool. Uh, do some extra damage. I wonder if I can't weasel my way in it. Yeah, I can hit both of them. Boom. Alright, let's uh, let's do some heals. Who's got the least... Oh, I'll heal her, just because why not. <laughs> We did it! Yeah, and you can tell, obviously, the uh, character models are very cute. And, you know, the way they talk is very cute. But, okay, so here, here's the annoying thing. Maybe I um, didn't find an ability for this yet, or whatever. But see, if you complete your mission, there's no, like, quick escape. Like, if I'm on the far end of the dungeon, I have to walk all the way back. Which is really annoying. Like, there's no quick exit or anything like that. Um, you just kind of have to walk all the way back, which is really annoying. So, I'm going to walk you through this because that way you'll get a sense of like, oh, this is how annoying this will be. Um, but, let's see, how far are we going the right way? Yep, going the right way. Um, but this, like, literally what you're seeing right now, this is pretty much it. You get a quest, you go fight monsters, you get another quest, you go fight monsters, uh, there'll be some different uh, enemy variety, there'll be some boss battles, you'll get different characters. But this is really all there is to it. Um, there might be... I mean, and there's, it's repetitive, but the what, what I was saying in the review that I really liked about the game is... Um, a dance video. Get a quest, my sister is all mine. Back to level one. Let's visit our friends. Hello, Waystation. So these are old videos, like old cutscenes. So I'm seeing if I can pull one up so you can get a good um, good idea of the voice work. So let's try this one, the other side. Okay, that's not it. Citizens Brigade. Um, if you please, would you... Yeah, okay. Let's, I'm gonna skip to when Neptune comes in, but she is this person that's 
kind of against the um, the uh, other CPUs or the other systems, the consoles or whatever in the game, if you will. She's trying to, you know, fight back against you. So I'll be quiet for a minute here and I'll just let you enjoy some of the, the voice work. Well, that, that was the original plan, but no one came, so... Oh, so you're all lonely and passing out pamphlets like a little orphan girly. Neptune, please. Um, in any event, we've received complaints, so we must ask you to stop. Miss... Oh, um, yes? Sorry. I'm the primary representative for the group you mentioned. Ray Wright. Um, uh, uh, forgive me for asking, but just who are... Huh? Uh, you look familiar, actually. Wait! No, no, no way! You're the goddess Neptune and the goddess candidate Nepgear! Ah, go me! We're strangers, but you still recognize me, so I'm flattered and stuff. <laughs> so I don't know how how good of a um, a feel you got from just that little bit, but I feel like the girl that plays Neptune delivers her lines really well. And just as you go through the game, you'll you'll be able to see that even more uh, through more cutscenes and just different things she can do. Um, like I said, there I would show you more, but that's really all there is to this game. You go to your guild, you get quests, you come back, you do a cutscene, you do it again, and that's pretty much it so I guess if you don't like repetitive gameplay don't get this game but if you enjoy uh, funny anime stories and you know cool art and you don't mind the repetitive gameplay then it might be for you um, I feel like if you like the Mugen Souls you're probably gonna like this it's very similar except I like the battle system in this way more than Mugen Souls. Mugen Souls Moe thing was so confusing I couldn't figure out for the life of me um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think of this game, if you got it, or if it interests you at all, or whatnot. So anyway guys, hope you check out the review, and um, coming up next is a very, very long requested review. Many, many, many people have asked for this one, so if you're thinking, oh, is it going to be that game? Yes, it's probably going to be that game, so no new games for a while. I'm going to go um, quote unquote older games or games that have come out not recently. So uh, stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.